Hey YouTube, so today we are talking about preparing your dog for muzzle training. Now, muzzle training, you might think, oh, my dog, he's, he's friendly, or my dog, he doesn't need a muzzle, or I thought exactly the same. I then travelled abroad and my dog needed to wear a muzzle for public sort of government guideline. Yeah. Like, you know public what, transport. you're never going to necessarily know where a muzzle might come in handy. That might be vet work, that might be a government legislation, that might be actually something happened that you weren't expecting, an injury, an accident. You know what better to be prepared than actually putting yourself in a position to fail now with that all you need is a plastic cone let's play the game okay so let's get started we've got our dogs we've got a cone and we've got their daily food allowance now we're going to be showing you something pretty cool now what we're going to show you is we're going to show you basic stages with a dog who's never really played this game before and then we're also and apparently hasn't played boundaries either i think we're supposed to be back here and um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to show you with a dog who actually has done many many sessions of this now just like we said sometimes you don't know the future purpose of what you're training we don't know when we're going to need to use this and at the same time let's have a go at playing a new game so I've got some of Classy's daily food allowance and I have a novel item to her, which is apparently quite exciting, and that is a cone. So I've got some of my food here. I'm gonna pop this cone behind my back and only when I want to work with her am I gonna present it. I'm gonna release her off here, class. You're gonna go there and I'm gonna, nice. And all I'm gonna do at first is actually just present this item so that she gets a chance to, nice, good girl. And she okay. might just move towards it slowly. She might just look at it. That at this stage is absolutely fine. Nice, super dog. Nice. Wow. Really nice. And what Lauren's doing is she's feeding away from the side that she's presenting the cone on. The reason being that then that really sets up Classy to bounce back and to head in, nice, head in the right direction. Nice, super. Good. And that time I just changed that up. Just as Tom said, with the reward strategy and food strategies, we're always thinking how we're feeding them and where are we feeding them. Actually, that time what I did was I fed her in it once. So she was here. She was here. <laughs> nice. Good girl. Super. Fed her in that one and then fed away again so she can represent. Nice. Now, as you can see with Classy, she's only at the very early stage of training that. And that's likely to be the stage that your dog is at. This one's something that I'm not going to leave present all the time because I don't want her to become sort of, well, ignore it at all. Class, back up here, please. I don't want her to ignore it at all. And equally, I'm not going to want her grabbing at it and trying to sort of pour it and mouth it. At the same time, we can take this on a few stages, right, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. And so what we're going to show you with Little Bet here is, um, is how this progresses to them increasingly putting their nose into the cone and actively really driving the learning and leading the learning. So let's have a little look at that. Yes. 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 Now, as you can see, Bet actively loves playing this game and at times really shoves her head in that cone, not just a little bit, a lot. She really pushes into that cone. And that's the stage that we know that you can get to playing a game like this. Now, if your dog loves a novel item like a cone as much as this, you know what? A muzzle's going to be a breeze in comparison. And so what we get is a dog who actively wants to put their nose in. And what we can then build in is a level of duration. So what we're going to do this time is I'm not going to reward Bet immediately. She's probably going to think I'm throwing a piece of food over there and she might pop out. But when she sees that I've not thrown a piece of food, what I hope is she pops her head back in the cone so break nice good and she didn't she's like i know i know i need duration it nice good nice and now you see that we've got a much calmer i know i know there we go thank you yes Good. A much calmer muzzle behaviour and you can see how then what we're going to be able to do is just pop the straps around the back of the head of that muzzle and our dogs have actively put the muzzle on themselves. They've chosen to do that. They enjoy doing that. They're doing it in a confident yes. and optimistic way. And what we've got to realise is, yeah, you know, we might at the moment, can't, we can't see a reason why our dog might need to wear a muzzle. I'm a vet. I see dogs in extreme pain. And when dogs are in extreme pain, when they need our help the most, they might not be that keen to be handled because they're in so much pain. And so the dogs that have been prepared to wear a muzzle in that moment and see it as a calm, comforting, optimistic thing, 
that is really helping them in their time of need. So this is a game for every dog It's a everywhere. gift you can give every dog. And this is something that you can start with a dog who's never maybe played the game, or you can build with a dog who's already experienced at playing the game. So this is something you can grow. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a lot of kit. And actually, it's something that is just going to be part of your dog's daily food rations. So it's a great way of enhancing relationship with your dog too. And once we've got this behavior, then we can swap it out for a muzzle and our dogs will apply exactly the same lesson to that new object. Remember game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description. Yeah. <laughs>